Wow. About time it snowed. It just absolutely dumped on us last night. So we're thinking today we got to throw the Maverick tracks on and go rip some ditches. In typical Minnesota fashion, it's eight below. Yeah, I could have done without this negative. It's too bad we don't have our snowmobiles yet. That'd have been fun too. Got it? I mean, not really. Kind of. Oh, shit. We're good. I got it. I got it. All right, so if you guys haven't seen it yet, when we throw the tracks on the Maverick, this thing turns into an absolute unit. It looks so cool, so this is gonna be fun. Dude, I forgot how tall this thing was on tracks. <laughs> Gains like an extra six inches of clearance once you throw the tracks on it, and it looks insane. Like this thing is such a monster. Dude, it is an absolute unit. Yeah. We got the windows, which we had before, but now we got the windshield, and it's got a wiper. So, I mean, short of the heater that we were too lazy to install, this thing's freaking a car. There's a bunch of snow drifts pretty much everywhere, so I don't think we're gonna have to search very hard to find some good uh, snow drifts to bust. Just the most Minnesotan thing ever. Just go ditch bang in the, in the Mav Daddy, but that's the plan. Crazy coming at you. Insane. All right, the goal here is to make it at least one ride without breaking something on this Maverick, which I don't know if we've ever done. This marathon is not a hundred meters. Yeah, play my cards right. I ain't got a needle. Yeah, always wear a smile like I'm just a beat. You literally can't even see that thing when it's going. It's just a big no like tornado. I can't even see him. It looks like the Tasmanian devil, yeah, but it's <laughs> snow. <laughs> He got stuck. What were you saying? I retract my statement. I love your little gap of windshield in there. Look at that. Look what Ben can see, like from this angle out. Yeah, dude, my visibility window's getting smaller and smaller. Hi, right, Ryan. Get him out of there. <laughs> All right, so we got stuck, but it pulled out easy, but we left it. So the windshield fogged up. For some reason, we didn't want to install the okay, heater today, so. This worked pretty well. Yeah, I mean, considering you don't really need to scrape the rest of the windshield, this is that a little bit. It suck being a passenger in there. Being a passenger would be very fun, but being a passenger on anything isn't very fun. What about donuts? <laughs> cloud of snow. Oh! Are you okay? Wow, that drift was a lot harder than I thought. Oh my god. Oh yeah. 
Certifiably snow. Ken and Mike have picked a good day to be sick or play hooky or whatever they're doing. We haven't seen Ken for like five days. We don't know what's going on with him. I haven't seen or heard from him. Are you just gonna winch it? Oh, Ken! Whoa, what the? Ken, dude, you're alive! Oh, and Mike! Oh, Pink Eye Mike, how you doing? Pretty good. Ken, how you feeling? Like shit. You picked a great day to skip, Ken. Thank God. See you, Ken. I'm frozen. Cap does not stay warm for long. Other than not being able to see, due to the fact that this thing's like a little tornado. Pretty sick. All right, we're gonna try and grab the tri -zinger. The thing hasn't started in a year. This right here is the tri trailer. We have this whole trailer just for the tri -zinger. There she is. I forgot about her chip front tooth. <laughs> Watch it start first pull. This thing is incredible, dude. Some of the most advanced technology was put into this. Hi Ken, ready to go? Yeah, I'm ready. I do feel a little bit bad that my buddy uses this corn to feed his family, but I'm no, just kidding. What the hell do you need a combine for anyway, you know? Mm -hmm. Alright, so as you guys know, Christmas is coming up. Hold on a second. Christmas is coming up, so we're on the hunt for a tree today. We need something big for the shop. Alright, so I know a lot of you guys are going to be in the comments like, why didn't you use a chainsaw? Because that's cheating. This is like a family outing. Ken and Ben have been fighting like this whole week. So I feel like the axe and really using teamwork to take it down is just going to be a great, you know, bonding experience and, a, and really a team building thing. All right, the goal is to find the biggest tree here. Our ceiling at the shop is technically 16 feet tall. I think we could go at least two feet bigger than that. Get the old Christmas tree lean. We just f***ed up all of Brant's corn. Now we're going to be stealing a tree from him. <laughs> Other YouTubers out here planting trees, starting a donation fund. We're taking We're a tree down for Christmas. Down. It's a good cause. What if we cut down one of those? Once it's on the ground, then we take what we need, the dude. Tree weighs as much as our truck. We're gonna have you scale the tree, Ken, and take it off at the top. <laughs> if, if Ken was Christmas tree shopping, he would have picked that one right there. <laughs> I would have gone to Menards and got it done with in three minutes. He hates Christmas. I don't know what it is. Every time you get around this time of year, he gets just like mad. This guy's actually pretty good right here. These things are freaking huge. That one's way too big. By the time we right. chop the tree down, we're gonna be like a mile from the Maverick. <laughs> we're full on in the forest right I think now. we're getting closer. I don't even know whose land this is. Do we need a permit to cut these down? No, no one knows what happens back here. As long as it stays back here. It's not like we're putting on the internet or anything. Angulation on the branches are a little weird. Well, Mike, oh. you can't get everything. Ken, <laughs> what, which one do you want? Let's do this guy. This one's like... Oh, I like this. Ken, it's like more of a Halloween kind of vibe, but... Ken, that's not even a Christmas tree. This guy hates oh, Christmas, I'm telling you. You know, that isn't a bad one, right behind Mike there? Yeah. This one's perfect. Oh, yeah. And we thought it was going to take a long time because of the axe. Really, just we can't make up our mind. 
Kenjamin, you need to work off that hangover, buddy. I'm not hungover, it's called This guy's got all the jokes. Jesus! Timber! Timber! Ken's like Working. a diesel tractor. He's in first gear all the time. <laughs> Might not have him fast, but he pulls hard. Oh, let me get out of here. This thing is multi-purpose. Well, what's really the other use than being a tree? No, I was talking about the Maverick. Oh, I thought you were talking about the tree. I was like, how many purposes does it have? It can be a tree or a Christmas tree or it can be a house. So. Or firewood, or, or paper, or, or matches. pencils, matches, or cardboard, mahogany earbuds, a CVS receipt, an entire tree. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Yeah, that one, was a fantastic joke. Granola bars from CVS, and the receipt is not joking. This. <laughs>